Hey guys, what's going on? Today I'm making beef short ribs. Gonna cook them up on the old country smoker. Got it fired up already. Gonna glaze these ribs with the big red glaze that I made in my last video. If you didn't see that, I'll leave a link below. Check it out. It's gonna be fun. It's gonna be good. It's gonna be tasty. Yeah. All right. Like I always say, stick around. <laughs> All right, guys, as you can see, some beef short ribs, my H-E-B, almost two pounds, good looking bones, good cut up there. Not gonna use any binders, you guys know me already. I'm not gonna do any trimming at all on these. I think they look good. I see a little fat on top right there, but I think that'll be all right. I'm not gonna worry about that at all. Gonna cook them, let them do their thing. <clears throat> Season them up with some 1836 Suckle Busters. Let it roll. That's it. No binders, no nothing. Simple, simple, easy to do. That fat's going to render, guys. Not worried about that at all. I'd remove the fat, but I'm scared it's going to take away some of that meat. But I think it'll be all right. Get a good amount all the way around. All those ribs, all the sides. And that's it. We're going to let it do its thing. Let them sit like that for, oh, I don't know, maybe. 10 minutes, 15 minutes, and we'll get them on a smoker. Gotta get me an onion to rub that grill down. All right, it's opened up. Onion. This grill's off. Only three ribs, but I cleaned the whole thing. It's a lot easier. Get these in, bone side down. Just like so. And that is it. Close them up, come back and check them. We're rolling right away at uh, 250. But I did notice that fat that I left on there, I decided to go ahead and flip these around. I'm gonna go ahead and do them fat side down. And on this smoker here, this side, over here in the end is the hot side. You can see I put that plate in there. If y'all remember my video where I took that from the firebox, that heat comes across the hottest part of the grill, even though the firebox is on this side. So we're gonna leave those there, let them do their thing, and come back, check on them in a bit. All right, let's get these rings on. Leave it on for a couple hours, as you can see there. Looking good. Gonna keep them on here, meat side down. Meat side down. And then we're gonna let them steam a little more by adding a little big red. In here. Turn around like so. Add some big red. Nice and steamy. I'll tell you what, I'm gonna have to put another piece of foil on here because I felt that bone just poke through right here. We're gonna have another sheet of foil. Let's put it on here like so. Get these wrapped. And we're gonna let them sit in here low and slow. Hour and a half, maybe two hours. Right back in that hot spot. Drink me some big red.
All right, ribs been on for a while, been in full for two hours. Let's go ahead and check the temp. It was full. Nice braise. See it's swimming in there nicely. This one done fall off the bone already. I'm gonna say they're done without even putting temp on them. Let's see. 193, 203. Yeah, we'll call these done. Get them over, get some glaze on them. Get some glaze on there. All right, y'all saw my last video where I put this uh, big red barbecue glaze together. Good stuff. Got it also in a squeeze bottle here. We're just gonna squeeze it on these ribs, squirt them on there. See how we do this here. Good coating. Just like that. All right. We'll let that soak, let that sit, let it set. He tried to say. Like I said, this bone here doesn't fill out all that rib. So, dogs gonna eat good on that one. Get this shut, let it set about 10 minutes, and we'll give it a taste. Not too bad to shine from that big red. Let's give her a taste and see how we did here. Oh yeah. And that color. That big red. And taste it, definitely taste it. Sweet. Good on beef. That Texas beef hog. Money. Good stuff. Again, I'll drop the link to the recipe of the big red sauce in the video below, or the description below. Check it out. I'm gonna finish this rib up. See what's going on a little later on. Hit that thumbs up, I'd appreciate it. Likes, count, <laughs> all that good stuff. All right guys, gonna finish this up. Catch you on the next one. Be safe, be cool, be good. Later.